Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu So in today's lecture we are going to learn about the terrains So terrain is a special type of game object on which we can make mountains and we can also put trees on it and we can make realistic uh, like environments in our game So how do we create terrain? We will go to game object after that 3D game object and here you can see we have several game objects in our uh, Unity. Uh, so these are the game objects which Unity provides us to use in our games. So one of the game object is Terran. We will just click on it. So now you can see our Terran has been created. We will just rename it as Terran. Alright, so we just created a Terran. We will double click on it. And you can see this is Terran. So Terran, what is Terran? Terran is a special type of game object on which we can make mountains and we can also put trees on it and we can make different type of environments like deserts we can make it as forest we can rain over it etc so this is a, like a realistic environment used for it is used for creating the environment used for creating any type of land in our game Alright, so basically uh, this is inspector tab. Uh, let me just revise it for you. What is inspector tab? Inspector tab tells us the properties and the components of the game object which we will select from hierarchy. Alright, so these are the properties of the Terran. So in this property you can see we have uh, five buttons over here. Alright, so we will just click on the first button. You can see it is highlighting create neighbor terrains. If we want to create a, a new terrain beside the this one, then we will choose this button. And you can see now there are four empty white boxes besides this uh, terrain. So if I choose this button and I click anywhere in this uh, empty box, a new terrain will be created like this one. If I click on this empty box, look here it's now empty if i will click on it a new talent has been created so now you can see this was our first talent and this is our second talent and this is our third talent so we can create uh, like neighbor talents in this way all right but right now we don't need neighbor talents uh, we will just work on this talent and we will learn how we can work on this talent all right so this was the first button all right so secondly this is used uh, this is the used for uh, in ma making mountains on the terrain, for painting the terrain, and it has some properties which you can see that here. Alright, so first of all, we will choose paint terrain texture, and here uh, down below, you can see there is a layer palette. We can add a new layer, but before that, we will create a new layer. For creating a new layer, uh, we need a gross. So texture, so we'll just go to the Google and we will just search here gross texture. And here you can see we have lot of gross images. Let's suppose I like this one. I will click on it and I will just uh, copy. I will just open it in another tab and or I will just like save this image. I will just save this image. It's not saving. Let's choose this one open a new tab i think it is also yes i hope so it will work uh, i will open this image and here i will open this in so now you can see this is the image i will just save it and i will just download it in my downloads folder i will just download it so now in my downloads folder there is a grass image you can see this one i will just drag it this to the unity so here uh, in unity i need to create a new folder that is called textures in this folder we will just paste our textures so here you can see i have already uh, downloaded a grass texture and imported into the unity so this is my grass so now i will just click on the terrain and uh, from the second button i will just choose the paint texture and from down below uh, you can see we have create option create new layer option i will just create new layer option and i will search for grass and we have you can also download different type of grass different colors of grass look look here this one is brighter and this one is less brighter so you can choose any kind of image i mean kind of grass texture you want so i will just choose this one i will double click on it and now you can see uh, it looks like green it looks like there is a some kind of grass in on the texture 
all right so now uh, what we are going to do next is uh, so this paint texture is used for coloring the like uh, terrain painting the terrain uh, if you want to make it a look like a desert you can download a de desert texture from the google and import it into unity and create a new layer and name it as desert and then you can also uh, look like make it look like a desert all right all right after that how will we create a uh, mountains and how will we create water in our game so i will from here i will just choose this option raise or lower terrain uh, this is uh, look at here in the inspector tab we have different brushes you can use different brushes to create different type of mountains uh, and from here down below it is the brush strength it is the brush size and it is the rotation so these are some properties of the brush all right so i will just uh, go to my terrain and here you can see this circle is representing as a brush if i will click on it and i will move my mouse you can see some mountains have been created you can see that all right so we have different brushes i can use this brush uh, it will create a different type of mountains look this one is different than this one all right so we have created two type of like different mountains uh, all right we can choose as this star brush and if i will use this one so now you can see it's very different from the both of them you can also choose some different uh, like um, um, brushes to create different mountains we have different options we can also decrease the brush strength the brush size as well let's use this shape and create some mountains so now you can see this is another a different type of mountains we can just decrease the brush size we can decrease the brush strength and we can also decrease some brush uh, size something like this and we can choose another brush and we can use uh, different brushes to create beautiful mountains i let's suppose i have used that brush and now i am using this brush i am decreasing its size and i will just rub it on this mountain it will just like create uh, something different i can use this this one and it will it will look like something different like this one all right so these are used to make mountains so one thing uh, let's increase the brush size like this one if i left click on the terrain it makes mountains but if i can press control if i press control and left click look it is removing the mountains means if i press control and left click it will decrease the terrain it will lower the terrain and if i click the terrain it will make the terrain higher making a terrain higher means it is creating mountains and if i press control left click it is lowering the terrain it is removing the terrain and if it, it if it is not working with control then you can use a shift and left click it will lower the terrain all right all right so next we will choose a second option that is paint holes we can also make some holes in the terrain uh, but right now you can see i am just moving the my mouse over the terrain but it is not showing me the brush why because the brush size is very small let's increase the brush size and now you can see uh, it's uh, highlighting the blue all right let's increase some more size and we will create a bigger hole on the mountains like this one so now you can see we have just created a bigger hole you can also create some small holes like this one so what why we creating this hole because when our player will keep running on to the mountains when he will come here he will fall down if you want uh, any game object to fall down from the terrain then you can use this option as paint holes all right so this was one option we will just create a one paint hole like this one and this one so we just created this paint hole all right let's see other options we have some other options we have used these three ones these are most important ones you can also uh, use the set height and other options all right so the most important one is let's go to the third button uh, the most important is trees so uh, what we will do is we will click on edit trees and we will add a tree and from here you will search tree prefab and we can use any game object 
as a tree all right we can use houses as well but before that you will have to import an tree acid from the asset store i have already imported a low poly tree i will just click on it so now you can see fir tree and you have to click on add i let me show you which asset i have used uh, we will just open the asset store and here you will have to search the uh, low poly asset low poly tree i'll right, just search it over here and we will just click you can see these free trees uh, i have just downloaded these free trees because it's very less in size and it will not lag your computer all right after that what we will do is we will just increase the brush size like this one and this is the tree density so if we will click on it how much the trees will be created in this specific area so let's suppose if i want to create some trees uh, near this hole so now you can see there are uh, some trees have been created let's go near and let's see the trees are you can see now these trees have been created so in this way you can add some trees as well all right so we will just go to again this option and we will add a new tree from here uh, click on add edit tree add tree and we will just uh, choose some uh, like houses i have also downloaded this houses pack from the asset store and from the at the other another corner or on the, above the mountains above the mountains i will just click on it and some houses oh sorry first of all you have to click on add button houses have been created and now i will just go to the mountains top like this one and i will click here and now you can see some houses have been created on the mountains now let's go closer and let's see now you can see the houses have been created but these are uh, merged into another so this is because the tree density is very much we need to decrease some tree densities so how we will do that you can see that it's uh, like uh, it was like 83 i just decreased the tree density and now if we will just create the houses they will be at a distance from each other they will not merge into it all right so that's it for today's lecture there are other some other like brushes as well uh, there are other some properties as well you can use them uh, like for example this one this is used to set the height increase the height of the terrain like this if i increase uh, click like this one so you can see from this place the height of the terrain has been increased so there are some other properties you can also play with them and uh, this is the last like uh, button and this is the terrain settings button it has some basic settings it is used to like terrain will be draw or not uh, some pixel settings some what should be the shadows of the uh, trees on it the game objects on it like that the what will be the speed of the wind uh, the bending factor of the trees when wind, uh, wind will be played this is the height of the uh, tree uh, terrain and width of the terrain you can also increase the height of the terrain from here like this one is like thousand i will just increase to two thousand and i will just increase the uh, height to two thousand and i will just increase the width to two hundred so now you can see the width and height of the terrain has been increased Right. so before that let's press ctrl z and before that you can see the height was less and width and height were also less so that's was it for today's lecture you have to create a beautiful different uh, mountains on the terrain inshallah Allah, uh, we will meet in the next lecture we will create some different roads on it we will create some forest we will create some desert uh, till the next lecture take care we will see you goodbye take care allah hafiz